the vote is definitely more vulnerable uh, than it has been since 1965. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Without the 1965 Voting Rights Act, Hank Sanders believes he would not be sitting in this chair. And it's getting worse. Every time they try to find some new way to make it harder to vote rather than easier to vote. The longtime Alabama state senator credits the voting power of blacks in the South for his string of successes at the ballot box. But 50 years later, he's worried about new efforts to restrict who can vote. It's more than troubling to me. It's deeply painful. You know, anybody who was a part of the Voting Rights Act 50 years ago, we could not imagine that 50 years later we'd still be fighting uh, for the right to vote. There were those who said that we would get here only over their dead bodies. Well, talk, talk. Yeah. All the world today knows that we are here and we are standing before the forces of power in the state of Alabama saying we ain't going to let nobody turn us around. <laughs> Sanders remembers the spotlight shined on Selma after police beat back hundreds of blacks who were peacefully protesting for voting rights in 1965. Fifty years ago, history was made on this bridge. Now people in this community don't want the world to forget what happened here five decades ago and never let it happen again. We just have to fight in every way that we can to try to restore the Voting Rights Act. And we have to fight in every way we can to beat back these many and varied attacks on the right to vote. No, I don't want you to leave. We have come to register to vote. Sanders says the violence of the 1960s is gone. He says the fight now is against new voter identification laws and a proposal to make residents prove their citizenship before they can register to vote. Photo ID it's just another kind of poll tax. Um, the citizenship requirement in order to be registered is just a, 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 another, kind of, uh, another kind of literacy test. There are always different things that will be put in. I said I was going to go to law school, come back to Alabama, pass the bar exam, and destroy everything segregated I could find. Legendary civil rights attorney Fred Gray has been fighting for voting rights for decades in Alabama. He says a 2013 U.S. Supreme Court ruling eliminated parts of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. The 5-4 to four decision allowed nine states, mostly in the South, to change their election laws without advance federal approval. The divided court disagreed on whether racial minorities still face barriers to voting in states with a history of discrimination. Gray says the battle for expanding freedoms at the ballot box can be won. But I don't think we need to get discouraged by what, what the Supreme Court did. We're sorry that it did it. We hope we can get around it with additional legislation, and the struggle continues. How long? Not long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Yes, sir. These longtime civil rights activists say they will do everything they can to overturn restrictive voting laws, restore the full Voting Rights Act, and battle against further efforts on the right to vote. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Selma, Alabama.